Good morning, Wolfpack. Thanks for tuning in to this special episode of Wolfpack TV. As you may not already know, a course selection for next year is happening next week, so we will be highlighting some electives that our school has that you may not know about. I'm Raphael Gonzalez. And I'm Ari Wagner. Let's get started. We have three categories for you today that outline electives. We sent out the members of Wolfpack TV to collect information about these classes, so if you need another class to put in your schedule, make sure to listen so you know what your options are. Keep in mind, not all electives that we have here at COHS will be shown today. We are only letting you know about some of the classes that are not well known. The first category is English electives. This includes African American literature, broadcast journalism, creative writing, film as literature, public speaking, and yearbook. Let's take a look. Yearbook is a class where we record our school's history and we record the memories of a, a year in the life of many students and staff. In yearbook, we have like a lot of jobs and one of mine is like an ad manager and so we just like sell ads to the community and like wolf pup ads and stuff. And then um, I'm gonna be working on like a stereotypes page so it's gonna be really cool. Okay. okay, so I'm sophomore editor with Chris and we work on the sophomore mugs and like I write stories and yeah, I help out people on their pages with like titles and stuff. I'm in charge of the track page as a designer and I think a writer. I'm photo editor for yearbook, so I take every photo in the yearbook and I upload them and sort them around for all the pages. My job as in yearbook is editor-in-chief. I lead the class through everything throughout the yearbook and I help others with design. I take most of the pictures. Hello, I'm Mr. Cooner and one of the electives that I teach is film as literature. Film as literature is a really exciting course because you get to watch films and learn about the filmmaker's craft. Um, basically, it's called film as literature because we learn to read a film in the same way that you learn to read a book. Filmmakers are telling us things about films, uh, what their films mean, what the ideas are in the films through a lot of visual cues in the films. And we learn to identify those visual cues uh, and to appreciate films a little bit more deeply because we're looking at films a little bit more um, in depth and with a little bit more skill. We look at all kinds of films in film as literature from old silent films to sort of black and white and color films from sort of the golden era of, of Hollywood. And we look at modern films too, films made in the 2000s and uh, the 2000 teens. Uh, it's a really fun course, uh, especially if you're really interested in film and in the visual arts. If you're a visual learner, if you learn things from looking at things as opposed to reading about things, it's a terrific course for you because you really get to utilize those skills of being someone who takes in information visually. Hi, my name is Miss Rose. Um, I'm going to be teaching creative writing. It's an elective that we are offering for the first time, term four. It's primarily open to juniors and seniors who are enthusiastic about writing. Uh, they have an interest maybe in publishing some of their work, short stories, short, uh, short fiction, or short drama, and poetry. And so if you are excited and you are interested in exercise and activities that can help your rhetoric and your tone and your voice, then uh, creative writing is the class for you. My name is Bob Cooner, and the elective that I teach is public speaking. What does this class provide? Public speaking lets uh, students have an opportunity to get up in front of the class and speak. We do lots of different types of speeches, and so students have an opportunity to get over their fear of public speaking. You know, for a lot of people, speaking in front of the public is one of the most terrifying things that people do. Um, so it really gives the students an opportunity and the skills to learn how to conquer those fears and to feel confident in their preparation for giving speeches in class and in other situations too. Well, we practice a lot. We do a lot of speaking out loud in the, in the, in, in the public speaking class. Um, speaking out loud to each other in the class in kind of more informal situations. We, make, we have games where we, where we give uh, kind of funny or fun speeches. And we do some formal speeches too. We do. Um, we do a, a persuasive speech, we do an informational speech, we do some th th those kinds of formal speeches as well.
Yeah. Track and field, tennis, boys volleyball, baseball. Keep going. Oh, along scoring double figures of 16 points, she also had 20 rebounds and six steals. Good job, Kanisha McDowell. And tune in next Thursday to see who wins. If you are interested in being a part of Wolfpack TV next year, come by Mr. Young's room, HF11, to pick up an application. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. African American literature is a one-term class that focuses on the historical impact that African American literature has had on our society. Um, we focus more or less on the historical approach to literature, where we look at the time period in which the literature was written and what was historically happening at that time. Um, the students really, really enjoy the course. I taught it initially at Laguna and brought it over here, and we really, really enjoy um, just all the different music that we'll listen to, and we watch a couple of documentaries, um, and it's a really exciting course. African American literature is um, like you learn about dance and uh, like music and art and singing and medicine and stuff. Which, what's the best part about the class? Uh, the best part is open discussion and uh, listening to music and different artists and stuff and writing. It teaches you about uh, like historical figures and historical people, but it teaches you not just about African American people. It teaches you about like Caucasians and Hispanics and African Americans, Asians. So it's a diverse class. Don't forget that some of these classes, such as broadcasting or yearbook, require an application. So even if you just think you might be interested, be sure to fill out an application and turn it in by the deadline for that class. Our language department is offering a few combo classes next year, Spanish 1-2, Spanish 2-3, and Spanish 3-4. There are many benefits to taking a combo class. It's easier to learn a language without gaps, and you get to finish two years of a class in one year, which lets you finish your requirements faster. If you're interested in getting two years of language done in one year, make sure you mark it on your course selection sheet. Up next, we have social science electives, including California history, sociology, you and the law, psychology, and sports psychology. Sociology is a one-term course in the social science department. Um, we study a lot about human behavior, group interaction, um, society as a whole. We get to talk a lot about how we are influenced um, in society by certain things, music, literature, um, art, and we look a lot at social change and the different social structures that we experience as a society. Um, it's a really project-heavy class. Um, we do a lot of going out and doing observations. Um, we get to talk a lot about um, what we see going on in the world as people watchers. We create surveys, find out what people are thinking about objects and um, ideas that we're all interested in, um, and we have a lot of fun. My favorite part of sociology was all the projects, and we got to go out and like do hands-on stuff rather than just do a whole bunch of like written assignments and stuff. And I really enjoyed how we were able to like actually observe society by going to like coffee shops and seeing how people interact and integrating it within the class for analysis. We learned about California in California history, the Golden State. We learned we learned about its history from the beginning with the Spanish, and we go as far as we can into the current time. We truly we learn a great deal of it's not just history because I know most students when they think ah oh, California history it's history, but we learn fun things, fun facts that will be very useful to students in the future. Uh, the class is uh, project based. We do a lot of projects in class. It's not just lectures you might have in a traditional history class. And it's usually group work and so it's a very fun environment in which to learn something that deals with the state in which you live. Sports psychology is the uh, application of uh, psychological principles to sports. Uh, so the class is uh, targeted to help uh, athletes here at our school uh, become better uh, in their sports and performance. In sports psychology, we learned about visualization and goal setting. And as a basketball player here at CO, I was able to apply these teachings to my whole basketball experience. Psychology is the uh, scientific study of behavior and thinking. And what does your class entail? Like, what do you guys do on a daily basis? Uh, we usually start off with uh, um, PowerPoints and notes, discussion. Uh, we watch a lot of video segments. Um, we try and uh, uh, bring in a lot of different uh, uh, modes of learning the, the subject, and uh, some art projects, um, uh, 
uh, some writing, journals, things like that. And then what do you think is the hardest part of your course? What's the easiest? The hardest part of the course uh, might be dealing uh, with me, I guess, sometimes. Uh, easiest part of the course, I think it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, students like the classes, I, I think, because it's different, a little different than, than, than what they've had in the past. Um, and a lot of it's very uh, applicable. I mean, you can really see psychology in your everyday life. The law is a A through G requirement in the social science department elective um, where we do everything from understanding criminal law to tort law to family law, um, our civil liberties. We get to do what are called mock trials and moot court. So I have judges and attorneys and plaintiffs and witnesses. Um, we get the whole classroom looking like a courtroom and um, we just really understand how the law affects us and um, get ourselves prepared to be adults in the world. There's so many different places that you can go with this. I don't know about you, but I didn't know um, you and the law was a class. Me neither. All of those classes sound pretty interesting. We have one last category for you today, miscellaneous. There's a lot, of, there's a lot in this category, including business law, children's theater, drama production, guitar workshop, walking PE, weight training, team and individual sports, marketing, and AVID. So what do you do on a daily basis in drama? Um, theater one consists of daily warm-ups, exercises, and um, just depending on what unit we're doing, um, they'll be working on a project, whether it's um, a duo scene or right, right, right now my classes are all writing their own one-act musicals. There's all kinds of things that we do, but usually it's a... So what's your favorite part about teaching this class? My favorite part about this class is when I get a student who either gets stuck in my class or checks it as their seventh choice and didn't really want to take the class and they end up loving it. And that student ends up being somebody that I have for the next year and the next year and the next year. I think that theater is one of those classes where you don't really know until you try and for a lot of people they end up liking it even if they think it's the most wonderful thing. And, um, yeah. Children's Theater is designed for students who are into puppetry or child-oriented Also, something you can take for fine art credit. Children's theater is open to anybody. If you're interested in theater, you don't need any experience. Just come try it out. Would you recommend this class to others? I definitely would. It's a lot of fun, and everyone gets to be a part of it. So, yeah. And what's your favorite part about the whole? I would have to say all the different characters because they're so strange. And it's fun to see every other people act like them. The elementary schools they come to our school and they sit in the black box. Marketing can be a whole lot of fun. Um, what we're doing right now is we're learning a lot about different pieces of it, um, the four P's, um, all the land and products and uses that, of, of marketing. Consider marketing for an elective next year. I learn about business and I want to own a business someday. Uh, pretty much the same thing and so I can make smart buys. It's a really fun class and I like it because you get to learn how to promote products. I think that um, it prepares you for life if you want to go into business and you, it gives you a lot of insight into your future. So what does your walking PE class do on a daily basis? Well, it's a walking personal fitness class. Um, usually we try to walk about three or four days a week, depending on the weather. Last term we walked most days because the weather was fantastic. But uh, we do a variety of low impact activities like um, Pilates, yoga, Tai Chi, just a variety. They might not fall in love with it, but I just want to try to expose them to it. Just an alternative ways of exercising besides running or your typical PE class, you know, if someone doesn't like football or basketball, it's just a way to, another way to exercise. What types of people would you recommend to take this class? You know, anybody can take this class. Um, if you're looking just to start an exercise routine, it's a good stepping stone to get started.
Lassiter, why would you recommend this class to a student looking to register? Uh, first of all, it's a five unit class, so kids could take this one time, not have to take it twice um, throughout the year. Secondly, if people want to get in better shape, especially during the school day, this is really the only way to do it. For athletes who are busy, and they're busy after school, it's hard for them to train, and this gives them an avenue to train during the school day. What do you do in this class? Basically in this class, it's just weight training. Get bigger, stronger. Um, coaches show us techniques and weight training. It's basically for uh, people that do sports. So what do you like about this class? Um, basically, you get a lot of work done, so that's basically what I mostly like. And like, say if you're um, not in a sport right now, this is where you want to be to get a lot of work in and get buffered. That's about it. Uh, those students who are uh, active in a variety of sports and like to move and play games, they'd want to be involved. So it can be like football, basketball, soccer, uh, softball. Uh, we try to do a variety. So those, those people who like to go and play, it's for them. Okay, so what do you like about this class? Um, we get to play a lot of games. Um, I just like coming out here and playing sports at the end of the day. It's a cool, uh, cool way to end the day. All right, here I am with Mr. Manganon. So, Mr. Mango, what is Guitar Workshop? Um, guitar Workshop is just where um, kids that have never played or maybe play a little bit can come and learn how to play guitar. That's cool. Uh, can you show us an example of what they might learn in class? Yeah, sure. We do a lot of the stuff um, with just chords like the blues, like this. stuff like that. And then for some of the advanced kids, we do stuff like... You gonna say this with me? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Cool. All right, cool. It stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. So a determined kid who wants to do better in classes, who has that A potential, but might be getting Bs or Cs, and so we just get them to support the groups to study, do a little better in their classes. We teach them some note-taking skills that really help them pay off in college. We teach them what college is gonna be like and motivate them through career exploration. Um, they become a support system for each other. So when one person's having a bad day, everybody else can help pick them up. I think um, students should join AVID because it'll be really fun for them and that they'll get better with their schoolwork and they'll see like changes. Because it's fun and because there's no class like it. The teachers really care about like your grades and stuff like that. If you have any problems like with teachers or struggling to get your grade where you want it, they do pretty much anything they can to try and help you get it where you need it to be. Course selection begins Friday se the 7th, February 7th, so be sure to fill out your course selection paper. Have your parents sign it and bring it back to your advocacy teacher by February 9th. Thanks for watching this special edition of Wolf Pack TV. I hope we were able to help you a little in your selection of classes next year. Be sure to consider some of these elect electives mentioned today. I'm Raphael Gonzalez. And I'm Ari Wagner. Have a great Tuesday, Wolf Pack.